Hey, what is going on? It is Paul from Bandstrap. This is episode two for uh, a vlog walking through University of Toronto U of T. Uh, this is in King's College Circle, I believe. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I just thought it would be a great day to go for a walk. Uh, it has been, it's been a while since I've been uh, in campus and it's uh, super pretty there. Just thought uh, we'd take a gander at uh, the nature and like the students around and just want to show you guys visually like what it looks like again. Uh, if you ever wanted to, you know, go for a walk and uh, it's a little too hot, hotter than you thought or colder than you thought, the Bandstrap has you covered. It's super portable and we're actually having a 20% off discount as shown on the screen. This is just me uh, acting super awkward, touching my beard for way too long. Uh, it's a kind of a weird habit, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, uh, just, you know, very uncut, raw, like, film and scenes of me and my friend just walking through uh, the campus here. I think that building is like a science building. Um, they all look similar uh, after just walking around for a while. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I just wanted to go through it. I We didn't really expect anything special to happen uh, or any like big events or anything. It just uh, kind of spur of the moment thought we would show like other potential students that they could use uh, the Bandstrap at U of T because it's such a large school that you know it encompasses like such a sizable chunk of downtown Toronto um, it almost feels like they <laughs> own a part of Toronto because it's so big in terms of population and the landmass but yeah I thought uh, we'd show it in real life on potentially what a student would um, you know, feel about it and how they use the band strap uh, on their day to day. But yeah, I didn't think I'd need the sweater, but I actually ended up using it. Even on a day like this where uh, it's really nice, but it actually kind of looks hot and it felt pretty hot. But you know those days where it's a little windier than you think and it's quite windy at some points. Um, just having something right on you instead of having to go back you know to your car if you had a jacket in the first place and god forbid that you actually didn't even bring the jacket and you have to go back to your house uh, not that you would do that it wouldn't be worth the time uh, that's a that's a big hassle um, if you have a band strap in my experience too i find myself carrying my jacket like actually right on me or I bring it at least to the vicinity where I have it left in the car which is close by um, it just kind of makes you it builds a habit to carry what you might need and you're kind of planning just in case it might be a little too cold with the wind um, just in case you know like it looks all fine but uh, it actually does solve a problem and because you have an extra layer um, and on the bright side too, you can just kind of stow it away and it doesn't feel like you have that extra layer on you because it's not actually, uh, you know, on, on your body really. Um, it, it actually makes a big difference. So yeah, this is, uh, we've finally decided to go landscape. Uh, yeah, in my opinion, that looks a lot better. We are walking through, we're strolling along and uh, so is that man um, in style. But yeah, we are checking out the scenery. I think we come across a squirrel soon. So yeah, she points out a squirrel. Uh, we didn't give it a name, unfortunately, but maybe I can name the squirrel on this video. Uh, Marvin, I don't know, I guess. I'm not sure if it looks like a Marvin or if it looks like a Dave or uh, Ted, uh, but I, don't know how I came up with the first name, but we'll just name him Marvin. And uh, yeah, I was a little worried that it would be aggressive and attack us and like scratch, scratch our face. <laughs> um, but no, it was a pretty chill squirrel. They're unbothered because there's too much going on in the city in Toronto. Uh, I, I'm 
pretty sure they don't even have they 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 got a tight schedule to run and they don't have time to you know watch or be too wary of every single person that you know walks by them they got stuff to do they got to go grab their acorns and get their get their food you know man's got to eat uh, but yeah I don't know if that was Marvin or if it was Ted his friend but um, yeah we'll just uh, let him go about his day and the garbage bins that nobody really knows if um, uh, if they're actually being used to recycle properly or compost properly um, a lot of them just are black garbage bags <laughs> um, but it is what it is and we're walking through we're walking through it's pretty slow it seemed like everyone in the university were in class and uh, everybody else was just kind of enjoying the weather the day we're just we're just running into mad squirrels oh this squirrel was like staring at us too yeah see uh, like I mentioned like they're busy with their uh, acorn journeys uh, there's there's only so many so much time you know in a day and they they got they got their acorn acorns to collect for the upcoming winters that's a lot of work. It's a lot. We gotta leave and be. We gotta leave and be. But yeah, we are walking through, and I'm sorry that there isn't too much going on in this vlog. Um, bear with us as we are, you know, trying to film some stuff, make it visually appealing. Uh, I was also thinking of maybe uh, mixing in like a story time along with uh, the vlog itself. So that you see kind of like RPG style type of uh, views of like where we're at and also, you know, hear like what, what could have happened, uh, like a funny story that could have happened to me or something like that. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on what I can talk about to make it more interesting, uh, please let me know. Uh, this is very open book, like we're trying to figure out uh, how to like show the band strap in action in a in a real life day and um, Also make it entertaining because uh, there's only so much you can talk about uh, With regard to the product other than just like going to different places and like being uh, it being shown like used in different situations uh, But yeah, that's the uh, Field I'm not sure if that's where Jimmy Butler was doing his training when he was uh, visiting Toronto but uh, I think it was in Toronto, U of T somewhere though. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode too. Uh, check out our 20% off deal. Uh, if you have any questions about the product, let us know. If you have any suggestions on video ideas, let us know and we will see you in the next one.